was hey to it's your boy Daniel. What young boy said, count on money working on myself. That's if you wanna. I've been, I've been wishing you could know someone else. I hope they love you like I did. Man, I just been going crazy, bruh. Making money, selling art. I started selling my art, making boohoo cash more than I ever made in my job. Like, I never seen this much money in my life. And this ain't shit to y'all. But coming from having $3 in your account, $3, bruh. $3 in your account, bruh. It's crazy. Like, money not everything, but money is a simulation of how wealth flows throughout society. It's like, I remember I had a party. I had a graduation party today, bruh. RIP grandma. I had a graduation party that day. Going crazy. All my family came down. We had a little party, played cards, gave hugs, kisses, all that good stuff. Man, shit was crazy, bruh. Family's everything. Never forget that family's everything. It's been so many things going down, you know, family been holding me down, bruh. Like, I'm getting down, a little depressed, a little sad. Ain't no simmer attention, don't know what to do with myself, but they've been holding it down, you know what I'm saying? Family's everything. I love them to death, because when I'm not at my best, they there for me. Shit, don't ever forget your family, but your family's the one that's gonna be there for you when you are born and when you die. Don't forget them to me, for real. They support you through it all. I've been thinking of my grandma. My grandma died in December last year, not last year, about a year and a half ago. Think about her every fucking day, man. It's like it's crazy, you know. Y'all, y'all come on here and comment and support me. I love y'all. Y'all gotta remember, like we all got our pain. We all got people that love us. You know, it's all about how we choose to interpret it. How we choose to, what we choose to do, our decisions. Yeah, man, but. Don't don't let semen attention hold you back. Don't let it propel you. Don't I mean <laughs> you can let it propel you. I'm saying this. Making money selling art, I never thought that was possible on semen attention. Change is a good thing. You know, change is the only constant in life. Understanding that is imperative. Because when I started selling my art, I started realizing like, man, if I work doing my dream, my passion, if I keep working doing it, I can make a living doing what I love, you know, and that's something a lot of people don't ever get to do. And it was eye-opening. But I only got there because I had to take a step back from track. The sport I had put four years of my time in, I had dedicated hundreds of thousands of hours into, you know, the sport I was going hard in. I took a break. I'm getting back on the next week. I'm, I'm gonna still stay disciplined. I'm not saying stop trying to achieve the goal. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying sometimes you need to take a break. Get your priorities straight. Find out who you actually love in life. What matters to you. Because that's really what's gonna matter when you die. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta have your priorities straight. And sometimes you have to take a step back to really see. Because, you know what I'm saying? Hindsight is something you can't never get until it's too late. So that's why sometimes we gotta take a step back before it's too late, you know? I don't I done been dealing with a lot of loss that, you know? But I lost my girlfriend. What's up guys? Look at Daniel. <laughs> he look crazy. Do I look better than him? He's scared going to water. He can't swim. He acting like he liked the water. Everybody know he ain't like no nail water. <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't gonna save him. <laughs> I was gonna reach in and grab him with a throw. I lost. I lost everyone I loved at school. And I was talking to my family, you know what I'm saying? Because I lost so much young people, I started relying on my family. I was talking to my, my cousin, my cousin. I, I tell you no lie, she 18, she graduated one year early. She graduated when she was 17. After she graduated, she left everybody she knew in high school, her, her cousin. I called, my, I called her like yesterday, I called her yesterday. We was talking for like an hour, talking about she, she, she got a business going on, selling candles. 
living life to the best, you know what I'm saying? But well, I'm, when I'm, the whole point of this story is this. I, I'm talking to her, and I was like, that's crazy, you know what I'm saying? You left high school a year early, you know what I'm saying? And moved to California. She moved to Cali. We, we from South Carolina. That's that's on the whole, we from the East Coast. That's all the way on the West Coast. She flew all the way out. They, they don't move down there. And, like, it was crazy, man, because, you know what I'm saying, you, sometimes we need perspective, you know? We need people in our life that can give us perspective. I, I was so scared about my girl leaving me. I ain't even said goodbye. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't said goodbye. I could have said goodbye to her. I ain't said goodbye because I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle the pain of saying goodbye. I couldn't handle the pain of seeing you knowing I ain't gonna see you again. I can't handle that pain. But at the same time, when my grandma died, I never ever in my life got to see her in the casket. And it eats away at me every day, man. Every day, man. I'm thinking I'm, she's still here. I just ain't seen her. Because I ain't seen her dead body. It ain't never hit me. Remember, funerals for the living, dog. That's what I had to realize. Because, like, it should eat away at me, man. Funerals are there so you can move on. You might not believe me, but I hope you never have to go through what I went through. To know that. To have somebody die in your life. And you don't go to their funeral that was close to you gonna eat away you dog because something about seeing somebody in that casket make it real you, you don't see him in that casket it never really is real it's, it's always just like a dream you know they, they, they never really died it's like they just not here no more and that's that's damn near scary because when they're not, when they not here no more it's like they left they gone they gone in the wind you know what i'm saying but that's not that that that's just a little part of it, because you know what I'm saying having family come around, support me in graduation, yell my name, love me, record me, do all this crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Love from family is something special. We that really care about you is something special. You gotta remember that, cause your family gonna be here forever, man. And you know what I'm saying sometimes we get caught up so much in work, you know, and trying to make some money, trying to achieve our dreams. We we forget that forget to help people we forget to love the people that love us don't ever forget that my aunt my aunt was down here he was on he was working on his laptop at the party and it was like you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna judge him he working at the party but it, it reminded me you gotta say focus man you gotta remember your priorities dog because if, if work is your priority you know what i'm saying and your priorities are all fucked up because if if your priorities ain't the people that love you if your priorities ain't making these memories if your priorities ain't straight then you're gonna live a life you're gonna regret you know because money can't buy you happiness money can only solve money problems money can't get you that feeling when you walk across that stage of graduation your whole family screaming your name money can't buy you that feeling when you at a party and everybody's just loving you they giving you hugs they, they, they congratulate you man money can't buy them feelings dog no matter how much money you would make, that's why our relationships are so important because we need this sense of community. And yeah, sometimes people prey on this sense of community. You know, they, they try to use that sense of community against you. But at the same time, I say that this sense of community is powerful. It, you know what I'm saying? It taxes the love you could bring to the world, your impact. It's 10x just by, you know, using a sense of community. Community, man, it's, it's something special. Nothing wrong with being alone because I'm a quiet person. Nothing wrong with that. But community is something that if you learn how to harness it, you can become very, very powerful for good and bad. You know, I've been learning a lot these, these this past week and a half. But the main reason I ain't been on YouTube is simply because... You know, I, I'm not in a place to critique y'all. I'm not in a place to judge y'all. I'm just in a place to tell y'all what been happening to me. I ain't got no tips for y'all in life. I'm just telling y'all what I noticed and keeping it 100. Because a lot of people on this app don't keep it 100. And they hear for views. They hear they don't love you. They don't really care about you. I care about y'all. And I know it sounds crazy because I care about y'all. Look me in my eyes. I really do care about y'all. I know sometimes I treat y'all like I don't care about y'all. I treat y'all like the views don't matter. I treat y'all like 
what y'all do for me, how y'all support me, don't matter. But I understand now. Uh, everyone that supports you and loves you, they don't have to be there. They don't have to do that. I understand that now. Does that mean I'm gonna be perfect? No. But I'm gonna try to get on YouTube. I'm gonna try to get y'all some knowledge. I'm gonna try to get y'all some entertainment. I'm gonna try to get y'all a viewpoint of somebody that love y'all. And I appreciate all y'all watching the video, man. And do what you love for a living. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, do what you love for a living. And find people that can put life in perspective. Because that's powerful, man. People that can put life in perspective, like my cousin that left for California. I'm sitting over here crying because I left high school. Still got my whole family. Still got my whole family. 20 something. 30 people I still know down here and I'm close with. She left, she got two people, her mom and her dad, that she knew a day. Hey man, keep, you, keep your life in perspective, you know, cause I don't want nobody, I don't want none of y'all taking it for granted and then y'all have to be, go through hardships to really appreciate it. Yeah, some people gotta learn like that. Yeah, I had to learn like that. You know, and I, I don't know how to say it because some people just gotta learn like that. Some some people just too strong to listen. And nothing wrong with that. Because being able to learn from your mistakes is a gift more powerful than being able to listen. And I don't care what nobody says. Being able to learn from your mistakes is more powerful than being able to listen. So go out there, make mistakes fuck up and have the biggest gift from them all learn from them i love y'all hope you have a great day and peace